Goku Rakugai, a bright and bustling working class district with a hidden dark side. In this area without order, Tao and Alma work as troubleshooters for hire. Their missions involve helping a young boy find his lost friend, a person who disappears without a trace, and disfigured animal corpses. All the while the evil spirits who live in the shadows bring out a different side to those troubleshooters. Finally, the manga known as Goku Rakugai has officially come to us in the West as well. Drawn and written by Yuto Sano, a young mangaka already achieving great things. In 2020, his one-shot by the name of Goku Rakugai Sanmandori no Ken got popular and now back in 2022, he started releasing a full series by the same name in the Shonen Jump app and everything else. Us Westerners only officially got access to it now in August 2023. However, as that may be the case, the series is already placed as the 14th best manga that started releasing in 2022. Here in this picture you can see the two protagonists that were already mentioned in the summary. Tao on the left and then we have Alma on the right. And I really really like their designs. Let me give you a better look at that as well. So this is a bit of a better resolution and now you can see those characters in a high definition. Tell me your opinion if you like those designs. Being in such a high placement with your first manga ever is a very big achievement, especially for somebody who is only around 26 years old. I can't say the same about my success so far. But back to Goku Rakugai. I love the art style of the cover. Not only does it look promising in the coolness department, but if the quality of the entire story is as high as the quality of the cover, then we can really look forward to it. From the summary alone, we can form some trained guesses on what could potentially happen in the first few arcs. Obviously, as the series actually started sometime last year in Japan, some of you might have already read further ahead, but please make sure not to spoil anyone, so that they can have the same enjoyment you had when first reading this story. The protagonists look epic, really like some characters I can grow to love and root for, as they are troubleshooters that basically do all kinds of jobs. The description kind of reminded me of Gangsta or Bongo Stray Dogs. At first I thought it would be a realistic mafia sort of story, however the last sentence about some sort of evil spirits shifted my expectations completely to a more fantastical setting. It probably still is our world, just with magical abilities added on top of everything. Unless I am completely wrong, which sometimes happens as well. And the aforementioned evil spirits are more of a metaphor for some sort of evil organization that could turn out to be our antagonistic group for this manga. Interpreting poems or stories was never my strong point in school, so it probably is for the best if we just get right into it. As always, I left a link to this manga in the description if you want to check it out beforehand. And from this point onward, I will also give you the arbitrary spoiler warning for chapters 1 to 6 from the new Shonen Jump manga Goku Rakugai. Let us start with a talk about our two main characters, Alma and Tao. Both were already mentioned in a summary, but now I can tell you a bit more about them. Both of them are badass. Really, no other way to describe it. First, Alma. He is our male protagonist, and he is a mysterious young man. My best bet that is that he is at least 15 plus. The first trait we really learn about him is that he takes his job very serious, but really hates getting a lie too. I mean, understandably. Him having a lie smell detection was a surprise, however. So already at the early point of the first chapter, I started second guessing his human nature. Without saying too much, yes there is fighting in the story, and Alma is a classic brawler type character, which also fits together with his head empty personality that we see in so many shonen stories. My predictions for him are that deep into the story we will have some sort of inner conflict for him, and most likely also some sort of other issues connected to his origin. This description may sound a bit basic, but Alma already has more depth than a local pool in my area. Now to his partner, and also a potential teacher I think, only called Mrs. Tao, or Miss Tao, I'm not sure if she's married, I don't think so actually. We are yet to learn her full name, so it could be a potential plot point in the future. 
our female protagonist is a bit lazy, a smoker and cares about money. She kind of reminds me of Sakamoto from Sakamoto Days. All of these are negative character traits, but Miss Tao has good reasons and still helps people in need without sucking their bank accounts completely empty. As far as character design goes, Tao is quite attractive in my opinion. I am not the type who likes smoking, but she, I can objectively say that she is pretty attractive. And at least one character in Goku Rakugai would agree with me as well. I previously said if people really need help, she is willing to help. But if shady people are requesting her to work or even try to scam her, she won't show any mercy. Threatening clients is not unthinkable either. So she is very two-sided if that's what you want to call her. While Alma takes the front, she is the backline. It's always fun to just see a character pull out a gun. Fantasy stories have me so dulled that nobody ever even thinks about guns. So when I actually see them, it really comes as a surprise, but a welcome one. Some of you probably will also enjoy Tao's big personality if you know, you know. Her character is very supportive for people close to her and she won't let others talk bad about her companions. And if we, because I really took it to heart, listen to her words, Alma is fully human. Chapter 1 quickly starts with a newspaper stating that 108 people are either dead or missing. And this number felt too specific to just be a random choice. Especially when you remember that 108 is present in many cultures and religions. Notably Hinduism, Buddhism and the Jain traditions. Heck, even mathematicians think that this number is important and special. Fibonacci once made the theory that 108 in a way symbolizes and represents the wholeness of the entire existence. I am not even smart enough to understand the statement, but it really makes me think it didn't appear in this manga because of an accident. One more fact proven from the summary is that the story doesn't take place on our earth. It seems to be a more fantastical version, but still has our countries. I think so at least. The thing that made it obvious was a fantasy race and we don't have those on our planet so far. Up till this point it was actually a pretty ordinary story, but then disaster hours struck. Monsters known as disaster beasts or maga appear and we learn that the whole troubleshooter thing is nothing but a cover up, because our duo are professional maga killers. These creatures really reminded me of Bleach, the hollows and everything. And I say this in the best way possible. If I saw a maga in real life, I might even pee my pants. Obviously there are more important characters, but I'll leave it to you to discover and meet them if you want to do that. A thing this manga does pretty often so far is that the next chapter doesn't necessarily pick up right where we left on in the last one. There are minor jumps to like cut off the more uninteresting parts. Tao and Alma have an organization backing them up, because like always they alone wouldn't be enough to keep everyone in the world or just in their city safe. Makes sense. Something I do appreciate a lot is that even characters who might be one-off get short backstories. It really helps in making the world feel more real. On the other hand, there was also a problem here. For some reason, the author skipped over an introduction sequence between two characters that have never met each other before. As in they just met somebody and we skip over introductions and they already know each other's names. It was a bit odd, but I guess we can jump over that from time to time. Always the same thing of, hey, my name is Alma. Oh, your name is Tao? That's nice to know. It can get a bit annoying, right? It wasn't like this in the first chapter, so I will give it the benefit of the doubt that it won't be like this all the time and important character introductions will still take place. One quote that stuck with me and also makes me excited for the future of Goku Rakugai is fiction is reality. That just makes it seem like everything is possible. And in a good story that can be incredible, but it can also be a bit problematic. The art quality is amazing and battles are drawn very fluid and entertaining. It is easy to follow, but impressive to see. For an organization about killing monsters, Tao and Alma really are surrounded by wholesome people. Take this point however you want, but similar to many manga that just started, the first few chapters are pretty episodic or self-contained, so to say. Not a bad thing necessarily. 
Chapter 3 introduces more cool characters, but it has some issues with the artworks. After some research, the mangaka was really rushing to finish this chapter when it first aired in Japan, but in the volume version the art is actually completely finished and not as sketchy, so I'm wondering why they didn't fix it for the English releases. Something important in this part of the story is that we get our first hints at Tao's background, so that was neat. The fourth chapter is the first to be connected to the previous one, so this marks a big turning point, and maybe the actual start of this story. So here we also meet somebody who could turn out to be the big big antagonist for the future, and they seem to be the scheming type, probably one of the best antagonist archetypes. Goku Rakugai really has great dark vibes. Last year I first heard the term dark trio. It's like the big three but for darker shonen jump stories. It is a very recent invention, so the members are Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen and Hell's Paradise. Goku Rakugai would fit right in there, but dark as it is, it still has its comedic and cute moments. We are getting closer to the end of the first volume, and I have to say that while Alma and some other characters are minors, they at least act like adults, they have braids, and are not straight up children like in some of the other stories. I reviewed like a few weeks ago. One specific character introduced in this chapter is a type of person I really enjoy seeing in stories, so I can't wait to see how they develop. Before getting into chapter 6, there was a small side trip for a bonus chapter that was nothing else but adorable, giving us some much needed relaxation from the rest of the story. From me, you won't get any details for chapter 6, but let me just say, I am completely hooked. Goku Rakugai really is one of the top first impressions I had so far for this channel. This chapter even ended with a cliffhanger, so good thing there are still some chapters left for me to read after making this video. Give this dark shonen a chance, really. But if you want something more grounded, check out this video with my first impression for Martial Master Asumi. See you over there, bye!